The second question is about proving angle relationships. Now, before we continue, I just want to quickly remind you to watch the part two videos first, because in the writing part, we have done similar problems and in-depth explanation is given over there. Now here, let's directly do this in calculator, but you need to analyze what is given first. See, the measure of ABC is unknown. The total measure is unknown. But you know that ABD this much is 70 degrees and DBC, the measure of angle 2, is 43 degrees. So how would you find the total measure? Let's take our calculators. All you do is add them up. 70 is so much, right? And the remaining is 43. Add it up, 70 plus 43. You get the total. It's 103, the final answer. That's it. Similarly, we can do the next one. Over here now, they have told E, B, C. This entire thing is given as 50. E, B, D is given as 20. How to find the measure of second? See, let me point it out over here. The total angle E, B, C. Sorry, E, B. Yeah, E, B, C is given. This much is 55 degrees. And then they have also given us EBD, that is this much, as 20 degrees. So what is the remaining D? In the calculator, you have to just do 50 minus 20. That would be the answer. The answer is 35. That's it. What about this one? The same figure again. Please try to figure out them by yourselves. You can pause the video, solve all of them by yourself, and then check the answers. ABC, again, the total is given to be 110 degrees. Second measure is given as 36 degrees. What do we have to find? ABD. So the total minus this 36 will be ABD. So just that's it. So it will be 75, 74 degrees. That's the answer over here. 110 minus 36. Here again we have some interesting problem. The Alabama state flag is white and has two diagonal red strips. If the measure of angle 1 is 112, what is this angle? Now, looking at this, they are supplementary or a linear pair, you can say, because when you add them up, they must be 180 degrees. So, you know, measure of angle 1 is 112. So, how much is this? Total is 180. When you add the other two over here, 112 plus x, it will be 180. So, you can just put this entirely in the calculator or Take 112 to the other side will be 180 minus 112 is equal to this. I'll do both the ways. So first way is just typing this equation. 112 plus x. It must be equal to 180 because they are linear pair. So it's 180. You can't press equal to here. You'll get an error. You need to press shift and solve. And no, this is not the answer. Press equal to 68. You can see that's the answer. The next question is about construction. Aaron has installed a new window above the entrance of the office building. Measure of second one is 44 degrees. What is the first one? Let's use a calculator. Over here, the total is 90, but you know the measure of one is unknown. X plus second measure is given as 44 degrees. That must be equal to 90, so it will be 46, the remaining. Press shift and solve. This is not the answer. This one is the answer, 46. And over here, we have writing to column proof. Now, this is done in the writing part. It won't be asked for you for MCQ, but it might be just which statement is used or something like that. Let's look into the answers. Now, over here, it's right angles, right? 1 and 2 form right angle. 3 and two, uh, three and 4 form right angle. It's given. So, what happens is, if they form 90 degree right angle, they are called complementary. If they form 180, it's called supplementary. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 are complementaries. So now if that is the case, what is given over here? 2 and 4 is equal. So if 2 and 4 is equal, then the other two must be equal because 90 minus 2 will be 1 or 90 minus 4 will be 1. It's the same angle, right? So let me just show you. Imagine this uh, four, 2 is 40. That means this is also 40. They have mentioned it. What is the measure of angle 1? It will be 90 minus 40. That is 50 degrees. Now, what is the measure of angle 3? It's 90 minus 40. That must be 50. So, if both are complementary or both are supplementary also, and one angle is equal to other one, then the other must be equal to the other side. 
So that is how we prove it. It's complement congruent complements theorem. Now here again, this is uh, they have told they are congruent. One and three are congruent. That means they're corresponding. If these two are congruent, then these are parallel lines. Then these are also corresponding to each other. Or you can say they are linear pair. Various ways to prove it. Uh, you can also uh, consider because they are corresponding angles, this will also be equal. Or since they are supplementary, you know, that's the easier way. These both are supplementary or linear pairs. If one is equal to other one, see, if this is say 120, this is also 120, then 180 minus 120 will be 60. 60, they both are equal. So we have because of supplement theorem, congruent supplements theorem. And now what about this one? 5 and 7 are equal. Same thing again now, but this time it's a vertical angle. 5 and 7 are equal. These both are vertical angles. So if this is same, say this is 40, this is also 40. Then obviously this will be 40 and this will also be 40. They are all congruent to each other. Okay, but they have asked you 5 and 8, not 5 and 6 or 6 and 8. Now, we know if they are sub, uh, they are vertical opposite, that is the vertical angles, they are all equal to each other. And if this is equal, then these both are equal. So literally all the angles are equal. So we can tell even 5 and 8 are equal. So that's the thing. Transitive property. If this is equal to this, then this is equal to this. So 5 and 8 must be equal to each other. And similarly over here we have one more problem. ABC, find given is the measure of ABC, that is ABC and DEF, they are equal. So now you can see this and this is equal. What about ABC? ABC and DEF are supplementary angles. When you add them up, when you add these both up, it will be 180 degrees. Now ABC and DEF, we need to prove they are right angles. Look over here. Imagine I'll take this as X and this as X. So if I add them both, because they both are equal, they must be same. What is the answer? It's 180 degrees, right? So just put this in the calculator, you'll get the value of X. Or if you solve it, it'll be 2X is equal to 180 degrees or X is equal to 90 degrees. If it's 90 degrees, they are right angles. So I'll show you how we can put this directly in calculator. All you need to do is press alpha and X plus again alpha x that is equal to 180 degrees because they are supplementary. Supplementary means 180. Now you need to first shift and solve and then equal to it's 90 degrees. So that's why. And over here the proofs are given because are, whatever is given you just write it out and then ABC are right angle because two angles are supplementary and they're equal to each other then they must be right angles. Now we here they have told M and P are perpendicular. This symbol is perpendicular. Uh, let me just write a few things over here. If they are supplementary, okay, supplementary, they are 180 degrees. If they are complementary, complementary, then they will be 90 degrees. Please don't forget this. How I remember is complement is something told to you when you're right. Okay, so this is always the right angle. The right angle is 90 degree, right? So that is the thing. Supplement is something extra. You know, you take supplements extra and everything. So more than 90, what will what is extra more than 90? It's 180. So that's how I remember. Please try to remember in some way, you know, so you'll never forget it. Now in this question, they have told measure of 1 and 2 is equal and M is perpendicular to P. So perpendicularity means the line will always cut as 90 degrees. So you can see here, one is over here, three, they both are equal, they are both are perpendicular. And now what happens is if they both are perpendicular, they're congruent, this is 90 and this is what a linear pair. One, angle one and angle two are linear pair in the sense they're supplementary, it's 180 degrees. So obviously if one is 90, the other one will be 90, it'll be 180 minus 90. So measure of angle 2 is 90 degrees. So if this is 90, this is also 90, they both are equal to each other. So that is how. No need to write everything in detail because it's not writing, it's MCQs. So just understand the concept, that's more than enough. Now see this third one, they both are right. This is perpendicular, so this is a 90 degree line. So we can just equate it out. 
And that's the end of this question two. The first parts are very easy directly in the calculator. The second parts of the questions are technically writing questions, which are there in the writing part. So be thorough with the writing part. Now we just understand the concepts and easily look into the options and you can solve them up.